Welcome to another night vlog. So today I wanted to do two videos for YouTube, two covers, but Star Maker wasn't working so I didn't do it. And in this video I want to talk about what I did on this Sunday. So most of the time today I spent meditating because it's so good for the soul when i'm meditating like i feel like someone like a completely new person and it's really important to meditate so you should definitely every single day at least for five ten minutes you should meditate and another thing that i want to talk about in this vlog is about again the law of attraction so i believe that the law of attraction really helps you with becoming successful and famous because i still keep seeing a lot of celebrities using this technique technique yeah a lot of celebrities today i saw a video of even bella porch she's a famous tiktoker she released a music video and even she used this technique to become famous or so. So I don't believe it's a coincidence that people are getting famous because if you look at many celebrities, most of them either used affirmations or the law of attraction. Okay, now let's talk about the other things that I wanted to mention in this video are things like really serious mental health problems like depression because a lot of people think that some people are crazy they make it up in their head and the truth is it's nothing that is in your head it's completely real it's something mentally and it's really 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 bad and people that never had depression or people with other mental health issues i would say so I felt like talking about this because I'm also a person I have to deal a lot with depression with self-doubt every time I make a cover I feel the self-doubt coming up and I used to make covers because I enjoyed making them but now most of the time when I try to sing for YouTube or Instagram I upload my covers everywhere I get this state of feeling that it has to be perfect i'm a perfectionist so and it's really depressing because i started hating myself for it a lot and i feel like it has to be perfect so i keep pushing myself instead of enjoying the whole song i sit in front of a camera i i get all of this fear but of course i'm trying to hide it and it's really challenging because it's some sort of mental illness I probably have in my mind. Whenever I sit in front of a camera, I'm trying to sing, I get this self-doubt. I get this feeling of feeling really, really uncomfortable. And people should know that if anyone else has depression or whatever. I just saw a video of Bella Porch. She also talked about depression, about people. TSD, I think it's, I don't remember the full name, but it's some sort of mental health issues. And a lot of people don't realize this, so this is really serious stuff. People think it's just fun, but it's not fun, because I'm going through that too. A lot of times I feel depressed almost every single day. So, now let's go back to the law of attraction. So, how does this even work? You might ask yourself that because I'm going to explain to you how it works. The truth is, even quantum physics proved that everything around us is some sort of energy. And like attracts like. That's the truth. So if you have really, really, really a high amount of self-confidence, I would say, then you're going to attract what you want. So, the thing why most people struggle with being successful is that, how do you call that? They 
are on a low level of vibration because we, we get programmed by our surroundings and if you hear bad things happening if you hear only bad stuff people say to you something really bad it gets programmed in your subconscious mind so a lot of people might not know this but I'm interested in that type of stuff so a lot of times I'm learning about that so if you sleep if you want to reprogram your mind because we get programmed the first seven years of our lives and that's a fact so if you want to reprogram your mind to make sure that you're gonna attract all of the success you have to listen to affirmations while you sleep because when you sleep your mind is in a low vibration which is called delta or theta which is the same vibration as when you were really little so that's the best time okay now let's go to some other fact about the law of attraction so there's a saying that goes you have to believe it in order to see it which is the correct way but a lot of people say you have to see it in order to believe it which is the wrong way because if you're gonna think that way you're not going to get results first you have to believe it and then you're going to see it so that's the number one mistake a lot of people make okay and the second thing that I'm gonna talk about is why a lot of people are unmotivated or have self-doubt because when we are born I probably talked about this in some sort of video but I want to repeat this because it's very important to know when we are born we have no doubts we have no limiting beliefs all of this is getting programmed over time so the reason a lot of people have self-doubt is because the surroundings made them that way I also repeated that I'm repeating this because I said this in another video and the truth is nobody is dumb nobody is smart it's the way that you think of yourself if you want to be confident you have to practice self-confidence and if you want to be smart you have to practice being smart that's a complete fact people are not born dumb they are not born smart they become the person that they try to be act to be be the person that you want to be and you're gonna achieve so the truth is you have to live in the end result like Neville Goddard said that you have to live like in the end result like it's already happening you have to see it in order you have to I mean you have to live it in order to get it you have to feel like you already have your desire okay now the last thing before I probably end this video the last thing that I'm going to mention is there's another saying that I really like and it goes like if you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hand which shows probably that it is said that everything that we see in our own mind everything you can imagine is already here it all it always existed so that's why you can see it if you can see something it is completely possible to happen in your life it's completely possible for it to happen because it is like this nothing is created everything mostly exists exists in another dimension so if you can see your passion your dream in your mind you can see it then there is a 100 percent chance that you can get it that's what i believe okay now i'm going to mention the last thing that i wanted to mention before i forget it 
if I didn't mention it in this video before, is today I already said that I was meditating the whole day today and meditation really, 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 how do you call it? I always forget it. It is like, it, it makes a new person out of you, which is amazing. You can probably see me talking more calm because I meditated the whole day today and I feel that I somehow I have to become a new person because I feel like I need to let go of that old self of me the shy girl that I that I'm a lot of times I'm trying to be self-confident but the truth is I'm really shy most of the time especially when making covers I'm trying to be confident but it's really difficult I try to sing and the self-doubt it just comes and I'm trying to push it away but it's still it's getting worse I'm trying to sing I'm sitting in front of the camera and I'm feeling so scared so nervous so I still have this fear of doubt in my head so I'm trying to meditate more often now and when I meditated today I felt like I wasn't even in this world anymore I felt that I was like detached from it which is a great wonder I felt like I was in some sort of other dimension I even felt that I was in my room but I was in another room and I wasn't trying to meditate actually today I was trying to get to the astral world but the problem is I can be really calm I trained myself to meditate and be really calm but I don't know how to get out of the body because if you want to astral project you have to learn to get out of your body okay so that was all I wanted to say I hope I didn't forget anything bye okay now I want to talk about again our world if you look at our world the way it is you can't blame people for wanting to die or being sad or depressed I mean because it's sad but our world is the a lot of negative people that are trying to make others feel really bad so it's sad but you can't really blame them because you have never been in his or her shoes so you shouldn't blame people for doing certain crimes or certain things because you don't know the whole story because everything that is done there ha had to be some sort of cause for this thing to be done so yeah that's probably the last thing i wanted to say in this part of the vlog Bye. Okay, I forgot one thing. It's again about... It's again about... Meditating and trying to open your third eye, you know. I believe that everyone... I heard a theory that back in time, I don't know when, <laughs> everyone had this third eye, but then the third eye went inside of our head and it's somewhere inside and everyone has a third eye but you have to meditate a lot to activate it and I had some creepy experience I almost forgot to mention it today I tried to astral travel I already said that but in the morning I heard my alarm clock because I wanted to astral project so I, so the alarm clock rang because I wanted to try it and I don't know if that was a real astral projection but I dreamt, I saw myself on the bed, that's what I dreamt, so I saw myself on the bed lying just like I fell asleep, I fell asleep like this lying and then in the dream, I felt my astral body trying to get out of me. And in my dream, I saw that I was 
almost out of my body, but then I somehow got maybe nervous or scared, and it just... I got back into my body. So this was some short moment. While I was dreaming, I saw myself lying here, the same way I fell asleep, and for a few seconds my astral body, my soul, was out. And I really felt that in the dream. But I don't know if that was some sort of astral projection or just illusion. So thanks for watching, that was probably the last thing I had to say. Bye.